ప్రేక్షకులకు జానకి సబేష్ నమస్కారాలు ఐ థింక్ ఇట్ వాస్ ఇన్ నైంటీ సిక్స్ వెన్ డైరెక్టర్ శంకర్ అప్రోచ్ మీ ఆఫ్టర్ హ్యావింగ్ సీన్ పిక్చర్స్ ఆఫ్ మైన్ ఇన్ తమిళ్ మ్యాగజీన్ అండ్ హీ సెడ్ ఐ లైక్ టు కాస్ట్ యూ యాజ్ ఐశ్వర్య రైస్ అమ్మ సో ఐ వాస్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ టేకన్ అ బ్యాక్ అండ్ ఐ సెడ్ దిస్ ఫేస్ డోంట్ యూ థింక్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అ లిటిల్ యంగ్ సో హీ సెడ్ నో 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 ఐ వాంట్ టు షాటర్ ది ఇమేజెస్ ఆఫ్ ద ఫ్యాక్ట్ దట్ మదర్ మీన్స్ రింకిల్స్ మదర్ మీన్స్ వైట్ హెయిర్ మదర్ మీన్స్ సాడ్ యునో డ్రెస్ వెరీ షీస్ ఆల్ ద టైమ్ ఐదర్ స్కోల్డింగ్ ఆర్ డిప్రెస్డ్ యూనో దే ఇస్ నెవర్ ఈవెంట్ ఆఫ్ హ్యాపీనెస్ సరౌండింగ్ ద మదర్ ఓ షీ ఈస్ ఆల్వేస్ గెటింగ్ షౌట్ డాట్ సో ఐ సెడ్ ఫైన్ ఐ మీన్ ఇఫ్ యూ ఆర్ కన్విన్స్డ్ అండ్ హీ as this screen you know scenes started getting short and all i was i mean it was it was just my second film and here i was with jambo angle you know very big stars like sv shaker lakshmi amma aishwarya rai herself and prashant and senthil everybody and i was like sa- uh, sharing screen space with them so a i was pinching myself b i was i did not want to make a mistake so whether it was comedy or whether it was a serious scene i used to you know make that extra effort so director shankar told me you just wait till this film releases you're going to be talked about and i i i kind of laughed and i said look at his uh, in hindi they say badappan look at how beautifully he's put me he's just trying to make me feel comfortable but once the film released and i saw myself of course i kind of said oh my god i look so uh, naive and i look so funny and i look so yuck and you know things like that but then the audience reaction was completely something that i had never anticipated i went for a, a show with my entire family and there they were everybody was laughing and i said oh god they're actually laughing at me so i've actually clicked you know and then after that it was forgotten after that you know how it happens once you are a mother you have other people approaching you and uh, at that point of time i uh, i did not i don't have a fairy godmother or a godfather in this industry and uh, nobody said don't do these movies do uh, only these kind of movies and so it was like uh, okay do i like the production uh, they came home they started telling me stories and so on and so forth so i'm right now doing my 25th film in uh, in fact that is also a telugu tamil production with uh, siddharth it's called 180 so that's going to be my 25th film i don't know how these 25 films have just come together and most of it yes you're right i have played a young mother and i think very rarely have i whitened my uh, you know hair you know i have a, a basic philosophy which i follow that i won't do something which doesn't excite me or where i don't enjoy if i have to drag myself to do something it could be some simple uh, assignment like dropping my daughter to school if i don't like it you know i won't do it i'd rather hire somebody or put her in a school van i mean this is the concept which which i've i've never said that this is what i'm going to follow but you know it will show in my work so once i started liking it see cinema uh, for an actor is a lot of patience you have to wait you have to wait for a long time because your shot especially if you are acting as a mother it will come only the whole day you might shoot for one hour no max max 2 hours the rest of the time what are you doing you're waiting for your shot people are setting up the shots and i'm a student of film myself so i know how long these things take so you have to be very patient so you have to be patient in terms of a the role that you're being given b the fact that the whole day otherwise i'll be sitting in a corporate ac environment and you know looking at the laptop and doing my work so yes when i started enjoying this i i i i told to myself that yes let me start enjoying let me give it my 100% if there comes a day when i am not liking it let me just give it up and touch wood so far the day has not come when i'm like saying the let me give up on acting because i do one or two films a year sometimes no films in a year so otherwise i mean you can calculate from 96 to uh, 2010 it's only 25 films because there's always an element of a little bit of comedy in my uh, role what they do is uh, they uh, some of the directors say uh, uh, you know i'm uh, i can say it in tamil anta appa vi munji you know that innocent face you know that is what we are looking at so i i i i just have to just look myself and you know say but appriya oh you 
poor baby he's so he's such a pavam why are you doing this you know i mean that kind of a thing and people just love it so i i said that okay fine as long as you know um, i'm able to balance my work i'm able to balance this passion of mine or hobby whatever you can call it and uh, handle both uh, with equal ease uh, why not i mean there is uh, there was no slot that there was a slot empty and janaki fitted into it nothing of that sort there was some maybe a necessity which director shankar at that time wanted to change a lot of things as the way people perceive now i have a 17 year old daughter in my real life now many a times people say oh you you mother daughter oh you look like sisters so when you say that in real life why not in real life i mean that is i think the concept uh, which is slowly changing and uh, maybe director shankar took the first plunge there has been there has been in uh, um i think i will take this uh, film in uh, vallavan when we were shooting uh, this hospital scene where my daughter is actually battling for life and uh, uh, chimbu was the director also and he was also acting and he said uh, uh wait till i make you cry in this movie so i thought he was just joking and I, again it was sv shaker and me pairing up after jeans and there was this very intense scene and uh, where the doctor says i i'm sorry now everything is left in god's hands you know and so he said just imagine it's your own daughter do something which which you know it, it need not be loud but then it should show the emotion and once i finished that uh, scene i he the entire unit clapped for me now i uh, that cannot be said in any interview or you know it, it was not publicized and maybe the role just you know just went by and they said ha ah, okay a mother is crying but for me as a at an a very very individual level i felt very happy and i said oh here i am really emotionally broke at that po- point of time and crying my guts out to say tell people that will my daughter survive and there was this person who said no 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 i'm going to make you cry and he did and it was it came out well so yes there has been couple of scenes which i have done where uh, you know emotionally it's been a little drawing but then okay that's a part of the profession oh yeah i i i whenever i come back from a shoot there's lots of stories for me to share with the family because it could be some simple thing like you know the number of coffees i had that day or a simple thing like uh, you know um, i forgot my dialogue and the director had to do at least two or three you know retakes i mean that's something that really shakes me a little bit i mean i don't want a retake because of my uh, this thing but then over a period of time i have understood understood the fact that uh, it's okay to have retakes it's okay it is is when you have a huge combination of a hero heroine maybe their parents this side parents and uh, th- there's bound to be that you know one mistake by somebody so and when that person has made a mistake you you've delivered your best you will have to repeat it so you have to uh, you know uh, do your outdo yourself uh, with every take as it as a, in in real life my husband is a very very uh, yeah is a big introvert he he's a man of few words and uh, yeah, of course he he shares the joy that i have in terms of uh, you know sharing a lot of uh, happiness and uh, um what can i say the the enjoyment that i derive uh, once i complete a shot and uh, you know the the uh, a lot of uh, uh what can i say a lot of a uh, lot of expressions lot of accolades that i get out of uh, people uh, who you know who who actually uh, like me in that particular role and uh, i i'd like to share it with him and he's always i mean there's this uh, uh, he's always been of the fact uh, he's maintained that as long as i enjoy doing that role please go and there's no permission that uh, i need to seek from him can i do this movie should i do this movie of course there are there are these uh, exchanges that we have saying that you know it might entail shooting outside the country so i might have to go so there might little be uh, little compromises that needs uh, to be done at home that's the only time that he'll say no i'll take care and i think i've been able to come this far because of his uh, support and you know people at home see somebody somebody in in uh, it's a vision right the, the the entire script is the vision of one man the uh, but what he finally you see on screen is a teamwork 
and uh, that is why he is a director. The director has to get the best out of his actors, best out of his uh, people on the sets, best out of his pot boys, best out of his editor, music director, you know, finally out of the publicity that uh, he does. So, I mean, that is a director's uh, job. But when he starts writing a script, he obviously, you know, has a character etched in his mind and saying that she has to speak. You know, uh, the filmmaking is such a visual concept altogether. So, when he says that and if he says, uh, no, no, you, I want you to deliver your dialogue like this and don't be loud, be subtle, you know, something like that. Uh, I, uh, I will obviously give him that much more respect because he knows. Uh, more than him, his assistant directors, who are the people who actually coach people like me and say, this is your dialogue, ma'am, and this is the uh, scene proceeding, this is the scene that's going to come after. And so you need to be, uh, you need to give this expression. I'm, I, uh, I know that there has been a lot, Being having been a student of film, I think I can appreciate that a little better. But sometimes, of course, you don't even know what your uh, what is the name of your character in the movie. So that is when you feel that uh, I wish they had paid a little more attention, you know. I know that uh, it is just a mother's role, but then you need a mother, no, in the film. So it, it's actually a vicious circle. You need a mother, but they'll say, ah, there are, uh, you know, productions where they'll say, uh, okay, okay, we need to shoot this, we need a mother tomorrow, cast that. Whereas there are productions where they think about you when you're writing the script. Now, I, you, you can make this huge difference, you know, when there are productions like this who call you, and when there are productions who call you last minute saying, Madam Nalaki, one day shoot. So I'll say, how come one day shoot and you're telling me today? Illa madam mother something you are able to see through uh, certain slips that have happened there you know and uh, at the same time you are really appreciating the other people who have actually taken so much of effort and pain to decide who this character is going to be how is she actually how is she in real life see I, when you do some something out of the box no I did a negative character everybody jumped on me and said, why did you do this? Why did you do this? I mean, you're such a, you've carved a niche for yourself. You're you are this nice, good looking mother who can never do anything wrong and who's so innocent. I said, this acting is that, no? If I have given you that uh, opportunity to call me back and said, why did you do it? That means it was very convincing there. And you didn't want, because you like the real me. You didn't like the real me, but you like the real me. So you're calling me and saying, why did you do it? So it's, it's all a matter of uh, perception, you know.